Greetings, soldier. Yeah. I believe your name is Jane Doe. No. Your name probably isn't Jane Doe, yeah. but then I don't have your records, and you look like the very embodiment of someone who has forgotten their own name. Oh. Therefore, I shall use a placeholder and refer to you as Jane Doe. What? Judging by that statement, you seem to want to know who I am. Yes! I am irrelevant. Damn it. Your mission, however, is relevant. Boo. And that is Operation Customer Satisfaction. What's that? Welcome to your first day on the job, Mr. Doe. They're your customers. Ah! I am scared, you maggot! Do not worry, Mr. Doe. My job here is to lead you through the various obstacles of customer service. It is normal for rookie salesmen to be nervous up front. <laughs> Just ensure to do a good job of concealing that nervousness, unless you want to end up like that poor bugger over there. Perhaps that was a bit of an exaggeration. My point is, concealing any show of anxiety is fundamental to a successful conversation with a customer. Might I remind you that you once were America's greatest soldier, storming the beaches of Europe without fret, or rather with fret, but masterfully concealed by your patriotism. I'll leave it at that, because you're in Canada now, and it's weird to talk about American patriotism. Canada is not a real country! Canada's existence is not relevant. <laughs> However, this customer is. Customers are to be greeted and asked for their needs. Go confront this customer and we'll assess you from there. <laughs> Proceed. You seem to have not expected that spastic response. You see, customer interaction can be very unpredictable. You never know if the customer you meet will comply, greet back, have a negative aura, or be like this erratic entitled little Get your spectro ass out of here! No matter a customer's impertinence, you must learn to discipline yourself to not stoop their level. Knowing the right tone for every Stupid customer is essential helicopter. for a fruitful conversation. I ever tell you how I feel about helicopters? I hate helicopters! What about cussing cuss word? You must also be polite in your words and prevent yourself from spewing profanity. Or the store's atmosphere degrades. Get a haircut, hippie! So, how do we avoid escalating heated conversations? I will slap the crap in their mouth! Not exactly, but you'd love that, wouldn't you? So, to avoid such a conversation, you must diffuse the heated conversation and attempt to lead the customer to what they are looking for. This is a good deal! In general, however, this goes for all customers. For every customer you greet, you must lead every conversation to what the customers are in need of. And to do that, sit and find out what they are looking for. Also, try not to rush conversations and speak in a calm and friendly manner. I will trade this. Anything that begins should have endings, and that includes your exchanges with the customer. I'm tired of looking at these maggots. How to conclude one you might wonder. As soon as the customer has made a decision, that is your window of opportunity <laughs> to finally beep, lead the conversation maggot. to a transaction. Make sure to end on an optimistic note. Go back to Calgary, you cowherd and Canadian. Hey, look, buddy. I'm from Texas. All right, Mr. Doe. Throughout the course of this documentary, I believe you have developed well as an employee. You have proved the fact that you are able to manage customers with your sometimes coarse but effective social skills. You were a soldier after all. However, I do recommend to tone down the coarseness, but if you keep up, you will do well. Now, push it to the limit, soldier.